All right, this is our land now, so let's not go crazy straight away. It's our job to nurture it, to sustain it, prepare for the future. With privilege comes responsibility. <laughs> I'm sorry, I almost got through that with a straight face. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Peter Rabbit and his family love nothing more than to munch on fresh, delicious vegetables. Well, today, you're going to learn how to grow your very own vegetable garden right in your own home. Yay! When it's all done, it's going to look something like this. Now, let's do this. So, gather your family, your furry friends, roll up your sleeves and get ready to make your own McGregor garden. Be sure to keep a lookout along the way for silly garden humor, animal facts, movie trivia, and special appearances from the cast of Peter Rabbit. Step 1. Preparing the planters. Before we start planting our vegetables, we're going to make a planter using things you have around your house, like a mason jar, a vase, or a two-litre bottle. For our garden, we're going to make our planters out of three empty two-litre soda pop bottles. You will also need a plain white piece of paper, tape, and a marker. Ready for a laugh? What is a pumpkin's favorite sport? Oh! Squash! <laughs> now where were we? The first thing we're going to do is measure the length of the bottle so that we know where to cut the top off. Take your paper and wrap it around the bottle like this. Go ahead and tape it on there nice and snug tight. Now, use your marker to trace a nice circle all the way around the top line of the paper like so. It doesn't have to be perfect, just draw it all the way around. Pull the paper off the bottle and you'll see a nice clean line to cut open the bottle. How do you fix a broken tomato? Tomato paste! <laughs> Ask a parent or an adult to cut along the line so your bottles are open at the top. There we go! Doesn't that look nice? Well, I think so. Let's move on. That should do it. Now we're going to make labels for each planter so that we can keep track of what we're growing. We don't want to mix up our carrots and our radishes, do we? Here's what you'll need. A roll of masking or painter's tape, some chalk paint, which you can get at your local art store, and a paintbrush. Later, you will need a piece of chalk or a chalk marker. What did the broccoli say to the celery? Mm. Quit stalking me! <laughs> First, use your masking tape to make a square right on the bottle. You can do the tops first or the sides. I'm going to start with the tops, but that's just how I roll. Once you've completed the square, use your brush and your chalk paint to paint right in the middle of the square. Don't be shy, get it all in there. You don't want to leave any bare spots. Now give your paint some time to dry, about an hour or so. Use the time wisely, take a walk, or maybe read a Peter Rabbit book, or listen to another joke. How did the farmer fix his pants? <laughs> With a cabbage patch. <laughs> now that the paint is dry, you can remove the tape and you'll be left with a small chalkboard right on your planter. Take your chalk or chalk marker and label it with whatever you're going to be planting. This first one will be for carrots. Those are Peter's favorite. Now, get ready to start planting. What do you call a strawberry that plays the trumpet? Mm. A tutti fruity. <laughs> Mopsy! Yeah. Mopsy! <gasps> Cottontail! Oh. Oh. I was a huge fan of the Peter Rabbit story. I grew up with Beatrix Potter. Actually, the first book I was ever given was Peter Rabbit by my godmother. So yeah, it's really in my heart. Growing up, uh, my sisters and I used to go to this summer course in the Lake District, and we used to go to the Beatrix Potter Museum because we were massive Beatrix Potter fans. I loved the Peter Rabbit stories growing up. I had little teacups and saucers with Peter Rabbit and all the other rabbits painted on them as well. Now listen, it's on to the next phase. <laughs> now get ready to start planting and be on the lookout for some fascinating animal facts. 
For planting our three vegetables, we're going to use the planters we made from soda bottles in the last section to plant carrots, radishes, and lettuce. Delicious! Here's everything you'll need. Rocks or pebbles, potting soil, and vegetable seeds. You can find seeds to plant with at your local nursery or hardware store. Who do you think these guys are? They're wearing aprons, so that can mean only one thing. They're hedgehogs. Did you know that hedgehogs have over 5,000 prickly spines on their bodies? <laughs> Look away! Their spines serve as a coat to protect them against predators, such as foxes. <laughs> now, where were we? The first step is to add some rocks to the bottom of each planter. Put a nice handful in each, so the bottom bit is full. The rocks are important to help with water drainage. Next, we're going to fill up the planters with potting soil. Fill it up nice and high. It can be messy, but that's okay. That's the fun part. Now, pack in the soil using your hand. Once the soil is packed in, use your finger to make several divots in the soil. Just make sure to leave a couple of inches between each one. Now it's time to plant the seeds. Put two or three seeds in each hole and cover them back up with soil. Don't bury the seeds too deep because they'll need lots of moisture and sunlight. Get yourself a spray bottle and give the seeds a spritz every day for the first two weeks. You'll want to find a cozy spot by a window for your planters so those seeds can have access to lots of sunlight. Ah, I'll just take one. Oh, 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 oh. Pigs love to eat. They are omnivores just like humans, which means they eat both plants and animals. <laughs> Pigs have an excellent sense of smell and use their long snouts to help them sniff out leaves, roots, fruit, rodents, and reptiles. The diet starts now. 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 Now, back to those plants. Oh, look. After a couple of weeks, your little seedlings should have sprouted, and you'll see the green leaves and stems coming out of your planter. When the sprouts are about as tall as your pinky, you can start adding water about once a day. Growing times for each of your vegetables are different. Radishes take about four weeks until they're ready to harvest. Carrots can take anywhere from eight to 10 weeks. Lettuce should be ready to harvest in seven weeks. Did you know that like a deer in the headlights is not just a figure of speech? Headlights. Deer's eyes become extremely dilated when they look into the headlights of a car, so they become blinded by the light. They freeze in their tracks until they can adjust to the light and scurry away. <sighs> okay, come on, get out of here, go. Lettuce, radishes, radicchio. I'll tell you what's radicchio, how easy it is to steal this man's vegetables. Ah, because radicchio sounds like ridiculous. Don't explain the joke. Playing a rabbit is a lot of fun. I did loads of rabbit research, rabbit documentaries, you know, all of it. I eat a lot of carrots. I wake up, I eat a lot of carrots. I lick myself clean. I spend a lot of time with rabbits. I've been watching them closely. There are bunny YouTube videos. So you kind of, pun not intended, kind of fall down a YouTube rabbit hole uh, when you start YouTubing that kind of stuff. But uh, lots of healthy food when you play a rabbit, yep. Uh, you get to work with animals every day. No complaints here. Okay then. In the world of Peter Rabbit, no garden is safe. Let's make some bunnies to populate our planters for a decorative touch. You can make your very own rabbit family out of popsicle sticks. And as you go along, we'll test your knowledge with some Peter Rabbit movie trivia. There are a few things we need for this project. White and brown construction paper, glue, a little brown paint, some wacky googly eyes you can find at the googly eye store, a coffee stirrer, and of course the popsicle sticks, a paintbrush, a black marker, scotch tape, and a pair of scissors. Who is Peter Rabbit's arch nemesis? A. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle B. Mr. McGregor C. B. B. Mr.
Mr. McGregor. He's got to go. He's got to go. His face was so classic. Now that you have your supplies, let's get hopping. Take two popsicle sticks and place them side by side. Now a strip of tape and place it down the middle between the two sticks. There we are. Now flip it over and use your paintbrush and paint to paint the sticks brown. Just like Peter and his sisters. Now we'll set aside the popsicle sticks to dry off. What is B's favourite hobby? A. Painting B. Mountain climbing C. Karaoke A. Painting What a majestic mountain range. <laughs> it's an old woman in a hat. Right! Yeah, there, there's, there's the hat. That's her eyes. Yes, and that's her chin. It's her foot. Now we're going to make the other bunny parts like the ears, nose and cheeks. Let's start with the ears. Take your extra popsicle stick, place it on your paper like so, and use a marker to trace around it. There we are. Now do it again for the other ear. Now we want to create the furry white part inside the ear. For that, we want to use something smaller, like this coffee stirrer, and trace around it using your marker. It doesn't have to be too precise. Now for the cute little bunny cheeks. Find something small and round, like a coin, or a button like this one. And lastly, we want to make an adorable triangle bunny nose. The easiest way to do that is to just make a straight line along the corner of your white paper like so. Now we're ready to cut out the bunny parts. Remember your scissor safety. Here we go. Those look nice, don't you think? How is Benjamin Bunny related to Peter Rabbit? A. Cousin B. Brother C. Uncle A. Cousin You're just a cousin, you know, you're a nephew and by marriage. I'm not taking anything away, I'm just, you know, I want to be accurate. Now we're ready to put the pieces together and make our rabbit. Put a touch of glue on each of the bunny's ears and take the white strips and place them in the center of the brown pieces. Next, we're going to attach the cheeks together. Turn the cheeks over to the side with the marker and add a small strip of tape between the two pieces. Now turn it over and add a dollop of glue right in the middle of the nose. Then attach the nose to the cheeks. Well done! How many sisters does Peter Rabbit have? A. Two, B, three, C, four. B, three. Why are you always on top? Because I'm the oldest. We're triplets. Yeah. Our ears, cheeks and nose are all set to go. Now let's bring back our bunny body, which has been drying along with our googly eyes. Let's start with the eyes. Add a tiny dash of glue to the back of the eyes and add it to the body. Very good. And let's go ahead and do it to the other eye as well. There we are. Next, we're going to attach the cheeks. Add some glue to the back and paste it right on the bunny body. Where did Mr. Thomas McGregor work before moving to the McGregor Manor? A. At a garden shop. B. An art gallery. C. Department store. C. Department store. Welcome to Harrods. I hope you enjoy drinking dirty toilet water. For the ears, we want to flip over the bunny body and add a bit of glue to the very top, like so. And then we can attach the ears to the back. Now let's have a look at our rabbit, shall we? That's pretty good. You can make one bunny for each planter and stick them inside to protect your vegetables from any intruders while they're growing. And might I say, those rabbits are incredibly cute. Especially the one with the blue coat. He's my favorite. Which sister has a lisp and wears a red shirt? A. Flopsy B. Mopsy C. Cottontail
A. Flopsy. It's actually a bit confusing. To find your inner rabbit, you really need to find your sort of inner sense of endless joyful potential. My best rabbit impersonation. It's a shame when you don't know who you are or where you belong, you know? Mm -hmm. Now let's check in to see how the plants are growing. Oh, isn't that beautiful? When they're ready to harvest, just pull them right out of the soil. How do rabbits apologize? A. They put their heads together. B. They give each other a high five. C. They sing a song. A. They put their heads together. Rabbits apologize. Mm -hmm. They put their heads together like this. Why is she apologizing to him? She's apologizing the heck out of that guy. Once you've harvested and cleaned your veggies, they're ready to be eaten. You might try using your freshly grown vegetables to make a tasty salad. Or just enjoy them on their own, like Peter Rabbit and his friends. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. No one actually says potato. Have you noticed that? Now that we have our own McGregor's garden, there's only one thing left to do. Throw a raging party and invite all your animal friends over.